Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Quinn's Amora class. Today I'll be teaching you how to draw the American Bison. American Bison. Is that right? Now the first thing you're going to do is to draw the head. Now, some other animals of the Great Plains, they're often mistaken for buffalo. And, and often these guys are called buffalo. But have you but have you ever wondered what's the difference? Quinn, what is the difference between bison and buffalo? Well, bison and buffalo are used interchangeably. In North America, the sign of the name is bison. Actually, like bison, 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 but only singing once. And stories believe that the term buffalo grew from the French word for beef, boof. Well, to say, the difference is that bison only live in North America, while buffalo, like the Cape Buffalo and water bu Cape Buffalo of Africa and the water buffalo of Asia, only live, like I said, in Africa and Asia. You can tell the difference. Draw the legs here. Mm -hmm. 
Let's try this here. Yeah, I'm alright, Mom. Alright, anyways. Now, about what I was about to do. Oh, yeah. Now we're gonna start on the, um, on the hind legs right here. to the back hooves. Now before we start, let's make the um let's make the bi Look for our bison here. a few times to make it make the bison look hairy. Or you can do light you can do it lightly like this just in case. I I don't care how you how you do the pencil to do the hair. Either do it lightly or do it darkly. So now that we have colored out the bison, it's time to draw. I mean, time to color. Color it. My bad.
Brown eyes right here. Well, and while we're at it, we'll tell some fun facts about the American bison. So these are the largest terrestrial animals in all of North America. And once numbering a herd of in the mil in the millions dominating the prairies and four ecosystems of North America, they're now reduced to a fraction of their current range of population. And they now survive mainly conservation Asian herds. Let's leave the remaining. One here. Well, like I said, they're the largest mammals in North America, but the males, being called bulls, weighing up to 2,000 pounds and standing 6 feet tall, while the females, called cows, weigh about 1,000 pounds, reach a height of 4 or 5 feet. Since the last 19th century, they've been the primary natural conservation steward. The par- the interior has been- this is a conservation steward of bison. Public lands managed by Interior support 17 bison herds, or extremely 10,000 bison in 12 states. Now, Yellowstone National Park is the only place in the U.S. where bison continually live since, since the time of, of the Ice Age. What makes Yellowstone's bison so special is that they're the pure descendants of early bison. They're on their country's grassland. As of July 2015, Yellowstone might possibly bison populations were estimated to be 4,900, making it the largest pop population of American bison on public lands. Oh yeah, and they have pretty excellent senses of hearing, but can't see very well, so an entire herd can stampede if it starts. They have cloven hooves and reach speeds of 30 miles an hour, and they can shed their heavy winter, winter coats in the spring, rolling on the ground to loosen the hair which falls off in gobs. Oh yeah, in the past, a huge number of them wandered North America from Mexico to Alaska. Then massive killings of them led to their total extermination of the main area of their habitat. However, they survive and currently they live primarily in Canada and western parts of US USA, using protected areas and national parks. They generally prefer grassland habitats and meadow, meadow communities. Red umber on the subject right here.
whole thing black. Yeah. Even though these guys are in complete danger right now, we still need to protect them in the future. The most notable threats to the population of species as a whole a lot of time persecution of bison from their habitat. Slow growth of population in closed and protected areas, manipulation commercial purposes. This hybridization and back crossing bison over cattle as well as between different bison subspecies. Natural limiting factors and conditions of reservation. Nations impossible for the depopulation bison because of their wild population is carrying cattle diseases. I mean cattle diseases. Continuous calling a bison in order to Brasilius and bovine trichosis fashion. Starting on the legs here. And that's it. Now you'll know how to draw the American bison. If you liked this video, please make sure to hit like and subscribe and tell me in the comments what creature you want me to draw next. Thank you for watching. Have an animal-tastic day.